What's going on guys, it's Amai from the Sarahe Cartel. Uh, let's say you want to get Star Wars Battlefronts, but you don't really want to play the multiplayer aspect of it. You want to know what are the single player aspects of it, what the game offers for, you know, single player based people. Well, in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to be uh, going over. All of this information is legit. This is mainly what we know so far of, uh, you know, the quote unquote missions that we will be able to be doing in uh, Star Wars Battlefronts. So anyways, let's get started. So, I do want to point out that uh, most of these game modes, if not all of them, you could play them with a friend, with a split screen, or also, you know, online with a buddy. So, let's get started. The first game mode, it's called Training, and mainly what this game mode uh, is going to teach you is how to fly an X-Wing, how to fly an A-Wing, uh, you know, how to use Darth Vader effectively, all of that good stuff. In other words, this is just going to teach you some basic things about the game but either way i'm still going to do this game mode because uh i mean i'm still going to do this uh quote-unquote training uh, mission game mode because uh, sometimes out of those uh, missions you do learn to get stuff that you know not uh, a lot of people know of course i will be covering all of the tips that i learned from that so you know make sure to look forward to that the next game mode we're going to be able to play in single player and of course with a friend co-op split screen um it's going to be survival this is what you guys are seeing in the background this is from the beta and uh, mainly what this has you do is just hold off waves of enemies and of course different planets all of that good stuff the next one it's called battles right and this is what ea had to say about battles battle missions will be uh will have you choosing between rebel and empire against ai or a friend so let's say that uh you know this reminds me of the good old days in uh, star wars battlefront 2 renegade squadron where i would literally just play it on my psp all the time you know freaking offline with the ai you know as in capturing their zones you know freaking space battles all of that good stuff yeah honestly guys i don't have an extremely good memory i don't remember exactly how it was but um i believe this is uh you know something familiar of what uh, star wars battlefront 2 renegade squadron has so in other words this game mode is going to have you going against uh, a friend so for example uh, let's say that uh, you know you're playing online you are going to be like a soldier and then you're gonna have also other soldiers around you that they're going to be uh, you know AI and then your friend is also going to have other soldiers around and of course they are also going to be AI as well and mainly the first person who captures all of the all of these zones will mainly be victorious or at least that's how it was in Renegade Squadron and the next game was hero battles which mainly just lets you play as a hero Emperor Palpatine uh, or freaking uh, Luke Skywalker now of course hero battles do, do let you play as a villain as well But you know, I mainly just say hero because that's like kind of like the general term But yeah guys, that's pretty much it Those are all of the single player game modes that are going to be coming into Star Wars Battlefronts this November 17 Of course, this is what we know of so far if there are any new game modes announced I will uh, let you guys know right here on the channel as this is your number one source for uh, Star Wars Battlefront content. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like for more Battlefront content. Make sure to check out the uh, Battlefront playlist. And uh, yeah, subscribe to join the Sabaya Cartel and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.